Hello and welcome to TechPlot Chorus. In this video, we will go over the different ways to view your data using an optimization study for a 2D electronic actuator which was destined for an airplane. We will start today with our data already imported. To learn how to import your data, watch the introduction to Chorus loading data from a CSV file video. The first thing we'll look at are the variables associated with this data set. We have Z, Y, X, Force, Volume of the arm, volume of the steel, electronic leakage, volume of the copper, and total weight. The x, y, and z variables were the input or independent variables, which were varied by the optimizer. Because this actuator is going on an airplane, it needs a high force while minimizing volume, weight, and electronic leakage, which are the dependent variables driving the optimization function. Now we know the variables, we'll open the matrix view to get a sense of what the input variables are doing. Let's set it up so that the rows are Y, columns are Z, and page by X. Going through the resulting view, we see that varying Y will change the height, varying Z will change how wide the center bar is, and varying X changes the size of the gap. We can also zoom into the images using the slider to see how the electric current runs through the actuator. Next, we'll take a look at the 3D scatter plot, on which we can see some trends in our data. Here, we'll show weight on the x axis, y axis will be leakage, z axis will be force. Finally, we'll color by the volume of the copper and show the legend. This view allows you to rotate the plot for better views of your data to see how as we increase the weight and leakage it increases the force while volume of copper seems to be a function of weight. To look at this in more detail, let's take a look at the 2D scatter plot. We'll change the x-axis to weight and y-axis to force. We'll color by leakage and we still see the strong relationship between weight and force. Now remember, this was an optimization case looking for the best design to be put onto an airplane. In Chorus, you can utilize the filters to show your optimization parameters. In this case, we want to maximize force. We want to ensure that we minimize the weight because it's going on an airplane. Copper needs to be minimized as well because it's expensive and electronic leakage needs to be minimized due to interference with other electronics. After applying the necessary filters, many points have disappeared, but we would still like to see how close some cases came to our constraints. Let's change the coloring to color by filter violations. With this setting, all of the cases are shown but colored by whether they are feasible or not. Let's zoom into this area. When we look in this area, we can choose these points and take a look at them in the Selected Cases view on the bottom here. Notice how the text changes to red when a filter is violated. The caret shows how far away from the constraint this value is. This concludes the tutorial on different ways to view your data. You can download a free trial of TechPlot on our website, and thank you for watching.